and we have a Gengu versus a Burb. A Gengar versus a Decidueye, for those listening. No, SK Dale's Gengar is, uh, he's probably hearing everything I'm saying, so I gotta be, like, a little bit more subtle. Um, he's definitely been working on this Gengar. He kicked my butt earlier. I mean, he's in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, of course, so is Fumu. I think Fumu's had a little bit more experience, like, time speaking. I'm not really sure. See, so Fumu's got Spirit Shackle down. Which is super good for, like, characters like Gengar, where you don't have to totally fear, even if he blocks it. Uh, I don't know about SK Tales Gengar, even though I already played it. He knows some of the tomfoolery. I'm not sure he has all of the iframes down, but he's- look at- look at this tomfoolery he's got going. Afuma's having a hard time catching him because he's moving around like crazy. Okay, just misses the air grab a little bit. Alright, Afuma's relying a little bit a lot on this bread and butter that keeps on whiffing. Probably come in an extra button or so. Uh, but SK Dales is like dominating the ground right now. Like the fact that he doesn't. I mean, he's jumping a little bit, but he's like usually jumping over Fumu. And see, yeah, uh, he's doing a lot from the ground, which I respect. Yeah, Fumu's dive bomb will get that, and whatever that Fury Punch is. Fury Attack, I think. Okay, and that will catch Gengar's vulnerable frame. The spirit Shackle will get him in a little bit closer, and the dive bomb will seal the deal and get him with a phase shift. Alright, oh, skillful dodge by Scantle by Fumu. Is he gonna catch the back dash? He does. Fumu catches the back dash from Gengar, which is very difficult, honestly, because he's a ghost. Takes the first round of this game. I just started out Sylveon. I guess they're both using Sylveon. It's a very, very safe support. We usually never wrong with anybody. Just you know, I wish it lasted the entire battle, but then it'd probably get nerfed. Um, alright, wow, Fumu's just dodging going into the Gengar with no fear this time. I think it's a... I'm gonna try to explain the strategy. Alright, ooh, Fumu catches Gengar's counter frames before the counter comes out quite. Gengar's got Sylveon, and Fumu has Burst. Tons and tons of pressure from Decidueye. But as I was telling Escadel, you can, like, if you're in the air, I mean, you're not safe, but you're somewhat safe from the burst itself. Unless that happens. Oh, um, let's get a nick him. It's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna hurt a ton because he's in burst and he has a defense buff. Uh, let's see. This damage is fascinating. Actually, that hurt a lot more than I thought it did. I don't get math. Alright, but Gengar still has his entire burst ready to go. And he can do almost anything he wants to. Unless Fumu jumps over the whole thing. And, I mean, a character with a good aerial game is probably good against Burst Gengar, because his main threat is, of course, his Burst, and, uh, I mean, the ground laser is okay. People don't start to think about like, using it very much. A anyway, thus, Fumu takes the first game. For burbs everywhere. No changes! I'm surprised. I don't know if SK Dale just doesn't like fighting Decidueye's other characters, or if he just really wants to play Gengar. I think he's bonded with Gengar. He says Gengar is fun. And Gengar is fun. He's like a big teddy bear, I heard earlier. Shadow Punch is gonna miss completely, and he's probably gotta realize that Fumu's onto that sort of thing, because he fights Spud. He will catch us in Shadow Punch all the time. I guess I'm a little surprised Shadow Punch didn't catch. He must've got- Fumu must've gone forward a little bit. Sludge Bomb? He actually totally gets murdered by Spirit Shackle somehow. Let's see. Well, I'm noticing Spirit Shackle does, of course, prevent you from calling support, but your support is still charging in the background, so that's that's not totally detrimental to your health. Alright. Eskadale's struggling to get a hit on this burb. I'm telling you, if you have a burb problem, just play Weavile. I, honestly. Unless the plays can, I can't help you with that. Okay, so Fumu goes slightly over this thing, and Eskadale, you need me to calm down with the buttons a little bit, because he probably could have punished that dive bomb. But he's got the combo going. That's better than I could do. Alright, Gengar pressure and burst. Gengar no fear. Fumu, of course, is very good at applying uh, burst pressure because he does stuff like that. And he gets to push tons of buttons. However, Fumu will end that round with a grab in burst. Of course, he used up his burst and Gengar has to work on getting the rest of his. Fumu almost halfway there. I think he can do it. It's just not going to be easy. Shadow Punch is going to miss Fumu while he does Spirit Shackle, and that Scooby does not quite combo into whatever that was in field. Sludge Bomb, ooh, Sludge Bomb, got one on Decidueye, gonna take his uh, attack down just a little bit. 
Now if he can combine that with Sylveon, Puma's gonna do like no damage. But Puma's gonna take advantage of Sylveon and use it for himself. Alright, uh, Gengar's in really good shape right now, honestly. Like, I, don't, I feel like he could take this without using it first. Uh, I know he could, but I'm sure Fumu could take it back all too secretly. Alright, but Eskadale's going to use his burst. I, I mean, I kind of agree with this, because it's it's early enough to where I think he could get it back if he knew enough Tom Fuller. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful sludge bomb for Burst Gengar, getting that attack debuff. Eskadale's not going down without a fight. Uh, he's not even close to going down, actually. He's in, still in really good shape. 300 plus health. Is that gonna catch? Alright, just barely reaches. And that should be game. However, this will leave Escadale's burst completely empty for the next round, so that's where it's gonna be. He had a pretty good lead, even without it. I mean, he's doing pretty good. Alright. Fumo knows everyone's weakness is Spirit Jackal. Let's just see it coming. Alright. You calm down with the spear tech just a little bit. There we go. Alright, neutral is over, so we're up in close range right now. Pressure points. Who will find some burst pressure? Trying to get Escadale to push a button to not be grabbed. Escadale, that looks like a hypnosis or something. I'm not sure. Okay, he can grab. I don't know if he grabbed in the middle of that or what, it looked like Fumu hit a shield. I mean, he guess he had to, otherwise it would have been possible. Of course, Fumu is a jump master, so he's gonna keep doing that. They both have Sylveon, I'm expecting one of them to crack it out a minute now. There we go. Alright. Ooh, Fumu's got a ghost stash going on in the air. That's I think that's helped him twice now in this one uh, set. Eskadale showing that he does not have a lot of fear as a ghosty. If Fumu cannot catch those vulnerable frames on the counter this time around, that Fury attack. Okay, Escadale got those tick throws from Fumu's counter. He actually already got burst! Heck! He's in really good shape. Fumu showing not, no fear right now. Ah, I don't know if I agree with this backing up. Sucker punch though! Holy! He's actually brought this back, eight seconds left. Now I don't- I think Gigar has less HP, so if he can take Fumu down to one health, he's probably got this. And he's charging HP back, so... There we go. Smart strategy from Escadale. Just throw our- uh, Shadow Balls, I guess that's what they are. I mean, it works. You really gotta pay attention, because A, whoever has the least HP in the beginning, if you're both down to one, they're gonna win because of percentage lock. And B, um, if you're in burst, you recharge Grey Health, which is- basically how Escadale brought that back from one. So it basically didn't matter as long as you got Fumu down to one health. We are bringing out the fried chicken for the last round of this, or last game in this set. Uh, I don't know how this matchup goes. I know Fumu loves chicken, and he plays a mean chicken, and he loves Blaziken too. There we go, starting off with a strong dive bomb from Blaziken. Alright, SK Dale showing that he does not fear Blaziken's kicks, which I'd greatly fear the armored ones, but apparently if you counter a lot, you get a lot of mileage. Hitting those vulnerable frames with that counter, though, from Fum or Fum hitting those frames, punishing uh, something from Gengar, I blinked and missed it. And I blinked, and Gengar's HP is almost completely gone. Holy moly. Frog. Trickery. Taken that round instantly. It's insane. <laughs> I don't know what I just heard. This is an Alpheus. And it moving on. Escadale gonna keep trying countering these uh, things. But now Fuma's in burst, he just cannot hit counter anymore. Like, he's in trouble. Recovering great health and getting defense. Now, that puts him in less trouble. I think he's basically back to where he was a minute ago, but with uh, defense buff. Oh, wow, no fear. Grabs that burst attack. Or, sorry, grabs that homing charge. I need to get my terminology straight. Starts the Gengar combo, now if you can just get a little bit more synergy! There we go! Got some from a Scooby! I don't know where that Skyver cut- I don't know where the game thought Fumu wanted that Skyver cut, but it was not where it was. Use that burst, there we go. Gengar in burst Sonic mode. Alright, this is not gonna work. Fuma's just no fear at this count, there's so much no fear going on right now. Alright, a little bit of fear, a little bit of respect. Fuma getting a nice counter off. Gengar is wood health is whittled down to 27. And climbing would oh gosh, that homing does a lot of damage in burst. That being said, of course, Gengar is out of burst. Wait, he got it back? So, um, cheers, I guess? 
That missed was over. Clearly we're in support because he doesn't have Sylveon anymore. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really know what cheer was because that was a very smart choice for my skin deal. Alright, the Hypnosis is not going to grab an attack that lasts that long. It's going to crit, and it's going to hurt, and it did! Escadales are down to 82 health, however, Kumu's little spin chicken does not quite get him into a safe spot. And Escadale has burst again! He's got so much pressure, Fumu has some, but not enough to take back. Escadale is, like, not approaching for whatever reason. There we go. Oh no! Alright, Fumu kind of put himself in the bad corner. Uh, he's gonna take a lot of effort for him to get burst, even though it's pressure. Alright, that does go through armor, thank god for Fumu. Oh, that was so close. A little bit of funny business going on with the field phase, but Escadale will just barely take that 2-1. Super close. And... Uh, who's next? Oh, it is winner's finals. Okay, so we're still going. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I totally wasn't paying attention either. We've been moving these brackets so gosh darn fast! It's like no Smash conflicts today or anything. Okay. Okay, back to Owl. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Fumu took the first round with Owl? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Okie dokie. He's getting a lot of mileage in Spirit Shackle, and uh, the situation seems to be like a little bit more flexible in the air than Blaziken, even if he's not as much of a powerhouse. At least I think that's how his character was intended. And also very fast in Lot Safer. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure what Gengar hit, but whatever it did not anti the air, and Decidue I got lots of hits in. This Kadale's in a little bit of trouble, but he's gonna get defense buff. Boom, bringing out the power that this is UI Lax versus Blaziken, and taking that Eevee. Alright, alright, field phase. I tried to dive bomb, but Escadale counters that. It does not appear to counter, or do you hit the grab? Now, you, I think you can tell what he's hitting based on the stance, but I'm not sure which is which. I cannot tell you. Now, Escadale's hitting a ton of counters. I feel like the air grab would probably mess him up. Oh, he tried to grab this is UI. It's a little bit of a mix up. So it looks like you can curse um, Sidious' bread and butter look at thing. I don't know if that's book combo or what. I see that tornado thing a lot though. That's uh, that is fascinating. That just went over. Is that the uh, mythical six x I've been hearing about that goes through everything supposedly? Probably not different than knockoff, honestly. All right, blast through Eskido's grab. I don't know how he's still alive. This is like cheating death right now. He's just got to live for like five more seconds to take this. Who does? There we go. Strats. Sidui will take that in style. Remember, playing safe is not a bad thing. Alright, Spirit Tackle actually went over Gengar, which is hilarious. He's over short. But Boom is still in a slight life lead right now. He's missing his support due to the timeout, but he's not in bad shape. Alright, I want to see him apply like, some more safe pressure for his Gengar, because I know he can spam that Magma thing. I don't actually know how to get around it, personally. It's probably an easy way. Alright, well... Alright, there we go. Set Fury attack going. Alright, he was in trouble if Escadale did not cancel that, because I'm pretty sure Escadale's counter would be dead. Alright, who was trying to maneuver way around Gengar's stuff? And I, yeah, there we go, there we go. Sijuai wall funsies. Alright, playing it safe. Take a moment to think or something. Who's got a serious life lead? It wouldn't make a lot of sense for him to just throw it away right now. Like, he does have 24 seconds left to live, and I don't think he can time this out. 
Well, I mean, he could, but I don't think it'll be easy. Alright, 19 is getting a little easier. But now he's in a slightly bad position. Alright, now he's getting to the point where he could probably take this. But he's uh, being a little hesitant to move bad buttons. And he gets it, though. He gets that game as Owl. Alright, we're at 2-2. Two, two. I think uh, next person does take the game this time. I am paying attention, I swear. No changes. That's Kaidale sticking to his Gengu. They really like the Sylveon. I'm only a little bit surprised. Considering Gengar's damage output isn't like that threatening to me. And this is is kind of is. Well, okay. That was a silly comment because who isn't using Sylveon? He's using EP, which makes sense. Um, Decidueye's damage output in general, like, look at that. That's pretty scary. Like, the combos do a lot. He says confirm to them. Which, I don't know. I feel like you can get some good mileage off anti as the first Decidueye. And I think SK Dale, from what I've seen, is making use of like low stance to get around the aerial shenanigans. Like that. Well, that's not gonna work, because that's a grab. A grab versus a counter. I think Boom might be catching on to both these counters. Eevee versus Sylveon. Do it. Alright, so a dive bomb is clearly counterable if you get just off of it. Alright, Boom has got this crazy trickery in the air. SK Dale's sick into his counter. One more hit on Bird, and this is gonna be going. Oh, but he counters Sucker Punch. That's how you deal with Sucker Punch. You counter that Sucker Punch. I mean, you kind of have to read it, but again, I think it's like based on the stance he's doing and the position he's in. But it's it's something. All right. Boom! We're going full force with an attack buff and uh, burst. I'm not sure he's getting a ton of mileage off the Spirit Shackle, but I also don't know how to deal with Gengar personally as Decidueye. Oh my god, did he just ghost through that whole thing? That's a great discovery, honestly. I don't know if he, I don't think you can do that on reaction. I think he's just a little bit. Okay, so he tries. Fumu smartly tries to grab that counter, but it's just a little bit too late. All right, Escadel Supersonic Race across the screen. Not even using Sylveon. He doesn't need to. Burst Gengar. Bring out a burst. We must need to survive a little bit longer. This will be a lot more doable. There we go. He's in a bad position, but it's better than Burst Gengar. He can still do this. There we go. Counter those shenanigans. Alright, respecting Gengar. Now he's at like half health, a little bit less. Alright, he's in a, back into a good position. Uh, I think that was a misinput from Fred's plan, because otherwise that made no sense. Alright, a little bit of air trickery. Uh, is that actually grab punishable? I would not know, because uh, Weaver has T-Rex arms. Moving on. Um, okay, SK Dale tries to grab that. I don't think that's even possible, because I feel like any follow-up would have beat grab, but I'm not totally sure about that. Alright, who's gonna play it safe? He's gonna play it safe. No, he's not. Okay. Now he's got burst. Yep, blast that. Just blast it. Right, if that beats that, it's very stylish victory. Stylish and unnecessary. <laughs> Will it kill? <laughs> oh, nope, one HP. Yep, there we go. Alright. Last round of this free bracket. Well, not sorry. Last round of this, wi what is this, winner's finals in this free bracket? And then I think we, we have grands after that, of course. Alright, um, SK is getting so much mileage off of these punishes, I think. I don't know if he's been, like, looking at this situation or if he's just, like, trying to learn what Gengar can do. And whatever he's doing, it's working for him. As is that back Y, which, um, is very nice. This matchup, if the is in the air, I think you just throw it out and get it. I would love to see, like, some input on whether Gengar, like, supposedly wins this matchup. I don't know. Because he's got a lot of stuff shooting up from the ground, and that seems to be hurting Decidueye, unless he does Sucker Punch. Which I imagine Sucker Punch murders, like, a lot of Gengar's options. Oh, okay, unless Gengar just does that. Of course, Decidueye, on the other hand, is an amazing counter. It's an amazing combo potential. And apparently a Ghost Dash in the air, which is great for anything Gengar tries to shoot at him. Alright, Fuma's gonna have 
some serious effort. I don't think he's he has no time to rely on burst right now, but he can do that. Okay, Sucker Punch is not grab punishable. Let's let's remember that. There we go. Gets the aerial grab from Decidui. He's gonna live for eight more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, that's it. Kumu's taking that. Beautiful patience, wonderfully close game for both of them.